Hello, welcome back to the code refactoring series. We will follow the same drill today. We will take a look at the code base. We will try to understand what is the problem and then do some hands on, talk about the possible solutions. So let's just start. Okay, so this is a business class. I just named this business class for simplicity. And in this business class, there is a method get customer address. And uh, it has a main method. I just wanted to demonstrate you very quickly some main method. Otherwise, it could have been a test class. Here, there's a customer class, address class, city class. And now I'll come back to this method. So, what's happening here is this method receives a customer object and then we do a null check on the customer we try to get the address and then we try to get the city again a null check here and a null check on city and then get the city name right so ideally it could have been something like customer dot get address get city get name right but we couldn't do this method chaining because at every possible method call it can result into null and hence null pointer exception that's the reason there are a lot of null checks here and uh, you know very well more the null checks more the problems can come in future it doesn't look good also not easy to maintain and uh, imagine if you need to work a lot with these objects for customer address or city if you have very commonly used objects in your code base right so you will be having a lot of null checks here and there so what are the possible solutions for we will talk about two possible solutions one is null object design pattern and another is usage of java 8 optional okay so let's start i have uh, copied the same business class here so that we can do some hands on let me close this one let me open this okay so this is the method which we want to fix using optional okay so this can be null right i if i say uh if we write code like this op optional dot of nullable customer and then we map and we want to get the address not get address get city and then uh, we want to get the name right and if I remove this piece of code okay and instead of returning null if I return this okay so it looks fine but uh, the problem here is we need to return null so in case this do not result in anything it want us to return something for sure okay so we are returning null here now let's try to run this method and see what happens okay so here it printed new york and it printed null so this was the expected behavior but when we are talking about improving the code so imagine still this method can send back a null so whoever will call this method is going to handle null so what we can do possibly to make this code better is 
so do not return null but instead return a optional string so this is a very clear signal to the calling piece of code that this method can return a null also right so now the calling application need to be careful to handle this null and they can use a method provided by optional so for example here we pass the customer but now it can return an optional we are calling this method and it can return null and we are simply storing it in a string which is not right because now it can return an optional so okay so that it is fine now and same thing goes here right now let me try to execute this method and see what happens right okay so now it is telling me that it has returned an optional with new york inside it and here it has returned an empty optional right so now there is a possibility here that if someone want, if someone want to use this no address and the developer knows that okay it's an optional so before doing any operation on no address it is possible to do a is present check right and this can help and ensure that null pointer exception can be avoided right so this is one of the way where we can avoid that lot of null checks now let me show you quickly the another possible solution and then we will talk about that what's the problem in using this way and that another solution that is null object design pattern okay. so i'll close this class this is the class okay so when we want to use null object design pattern concept is very simple that have an object which looks like the real object but it has some uh, default behavior for a method and basically it's an stateless object and when we receive this object we know that it's an empty it's uh, and and the point is we do not get null uh, let me show you how it works quickly so in the method chain city is at the end so we will start here so uh, we need to introduce an interface uh, let's say it's an i city interface and get name is the method we will modify this city class to implement this i city interface here right and then we will implement a class which is null city which will implement i city and of course it need to implement um, this method right and instead of returning null at the end we will return something uh, meaningful let's say no city right so this is a clear message that uh, no city is found right now uh, we will move to the another object in the chain let's come here address so first introduce an interface let's call it i address get city and let this implement i address and now create a class null address which implements i address and we can implement this get city method right so point is in this null address object when someone try to get the city and when city is null actually so instead of returning the null it should return an instance of null city right instead of returning null 
it should return the null instance of that particular object right so let's modify this null city class to be able to return that instance and uh, private static final and uh, why final because uh, because these objects are stateless these are not going to change so why do create new object all the time so that's why we have created this object okay and this will return an instance of null city right so here uh, when we in this null address where we were returning the null now we can return null city dot get instance right and the problem is uh, required type is city okay so we need to change it to i city so wherever city was used as a type now these methods need to be updated also so they need to work with i city now instead of okay i city uh, return no 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 it's a constructor here okay so this is fine and this is also fine and uh, okay so problem is here so it should return interface instance okay and it should return i city here it should accept i city and it should be i city here okay so this is fixed and in here instead of get city we will return null city dot get instance okay now uh, null city is done and then we have modified the null address now we will try to modify the customer class again same thing introduce an interface uh, i customer get address make this object implements uh, i customer right and create a null customer class okay so it has already implemented so here instead of returning null it should return null address dot get instance inside null address there is no get instance method as of now so let's create it here in this class uh not in this one instead the null one so private uh, uh, private static final null address okay and public static final it's null here we can again implement here private static final so that we can uh, null customer so whenever we have a null for customer we can use null customer object right so these changes are done right now we need to change this also so let's say uh, it's like customer now customer don't get address dot get city get name and we can just return it we need not to have all this call right now let's try to call this and see where it breaks okay so it printed new york and then it actually break here why because when we use null object pattern null object design pattern we should not use null anymore and when we see that there is a null object instead it should be here because we it is this method is accepting uh, customer right so we should pass null customer dot 
perfect instance okay and uh, make instance return okay this needs to be modified here it should accept now i customer okay because now everything is moved to interfaces null customer okay so now let's try to run again yeah so in first case it has printed new york in another case no city right so see how beautiful it is that uh, now you can use method chaining and here address was null or maybe city was null and uh, maybe name itself was null no matter what happened it will give you a nice and clean output i'll show you again New York, no city. So now uh, this piece of code looks much cleaner than even the optional one, right here. So this is the optional uh, piece of code, and that is the without optional. So this one still looks cleaner, but now the point is which one to use when. Okay so i have added a readme here you can go through it to understand different aspects of it i'll provide the link in the description but just to summarize when you want absence of an object to be treated uniformly across the system right so for example whenever there is a value not present for example here city you want it to behave uh, in the similar way right uh, for example let's say you do not want different behavior uh, when value is not present for example maybe in some case you want to hit another service when the value is null or in some cases you want to hit the db so if all that is not what you want and of course your objects are being called uh, these objects are being used at a lot of places a lot of method chaining is there and they can break so in all those uh, cases you can use null object design pattern optional case is something like where uh, you know when you use optional you explicitly know that yes this method call can result into a null right and because of being optional present there you can handle it really well so it's a clear indication and of course uh, when uh, the absence of value can be treated differently in different situations so in that case go with the optional when you are designing your apis you want to be very expressive that okay this method can return back something which is uh, null and you need to handle it so in all those cases you can stick with the optional uh, feature i am arun for your more queries please leave a comment below or drop me an email happy coding